Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about data recovery, uh, specifically recovering uh, deleted or lost uh, photos from various uh, memory storage devices. Um, the process I'm going to do, uh, although I'm going to do it with photographs, um, applies to any deleted data, be that videos, music files, uh, Word documents, anything like that, you can recover data. Um, you can also recover data uh, in this method uh, for free with the program I'm using, um, as long as it's pictures, which I'll go into in more detail in a minute. Um, and you can recover data off of just about any device that's got storage. Um, today I'll be using a micro SD card that I've put some pictures on and then deleted them back off so the card's blank. Um, however, you could recover data off of internal hard drives, off of hard, I've done it off of hard drives from other computers and, and laptops by removing the hard drive from that device, uh, inserting it into my own computer and then running the recovery program. You could recover data, say, off of SD cards, commonly used in uh, some mobile phones and obviously digital cameras. You can recover data also off of um, mobile phones, um, uh, notepads, um, tablet devices, basically anything with storage on it. Um, which brings up an interesting point um, just to make before we begin. It's very hard to delete data. Um, there are programs out there, um, a lot of the security software suites uh, have options that do deletion um, and they say it's better than just clicking the delete button, um, but even those don't always uh, delete things fully. Um, really the only surefire way to make sure that you've deleted data that you don't want anyone to ever get back is to actually take a hammer to whatever that storage device is and absolutely completely destroy it. It's the only way data can't be uh, recovered. So um, the program I'm using is called Zero Assumption Recovery or ZAR. Uh, this is a, a free program uh, downloaded off the internet. I like it because it's free for a start. Well, I say it's free. It's free for image recovery. If you want to do more detailed data recovery, uh, you have to make a purchase of the uh, product uh, which is relatively expensive so if you want the full version of this program say um, for one user license you're looking at uh, $60 so what's that, roughly about £30 uh, ish yeah, something like that so no, I suppose you know how much is your data worth it's probably worth $60 isn't it if you, you know, really want those precious pictures or, or other documents back um, as I say the program is free to use as long as you're recovering images. Uh, so I've got on here uh, F is my removal drive that I'm using today, and as you can see, it's blank. Now, one thing to note about doing uh, file recovery is you can't or you shouldn't recover files off of the same uh, storage device that the program you're using is on. So, for example, uh, this program, uh, ZAR, is installed on my E drive. Can't pull that back up now. Sorry. Uh, so it's installed on my E drive. Uh, so if I was uh, wanting to recover data from my E drive, I would want to uninstall the program and install it on my C drive or onto a removable disk. Uh, anywhere. Uh, where it wasn't being used. Um, the reason for that being obviously is that the program has to run and it has to scan the entirety of that drive uh, looking for missing data fragments. Um, if uh, obviously it was doing that on the same drive as it installed on, it would eventually scan its own files and that could just create an error and just cause your computer to crash or just not recover the data correctly. So uh, I say always recover data off of, the off of a separate drive. So uh, looking at this F drive, you can see here that it's blank. Absolutely nothing on disk F at all. We pull up properties, we can see that it's got a full amount of free space. More or less, a little bit used to its file system. So to all intents and purposes, it is empty. But I had my really precious pictures stored on this drive and I really want to get them back. I'm sure we've all deleted things we didn't mean to and I know even I'm not uh, always that great at uh, remembering to back up these things these days. Uh, so this is zero assumption recovery. 
I say it's the limited demo version which gives me free image recovery. I've found this program to be really reliable, really good um, at recovering images. Um, also, unlike a lot of the uh, free um, programs that you'll find if you search image recovery through Google, um, it doesn't come with any bloatware or um, any uh, other nasty uh, adware or anything like that installed with the program. I find a lot of these free ones install half a ton of rubbish onto my computer that I then have to go through deleting or or that makes my antivirus go absolutely crazy. This program is sound, it's solid, um, it doesn't come with anything nasty with it and it works which is obviously the most important thing. Uh, so it's also pretty user friendly, you don't have to change any of the settings. Uh, so we'll click on free image recovery and it'll just scan the computer's hard drives, find out what uh, storage devices are attached to the computer and then we can select the one we want. There we go. So we can see all our drives attached here. Uh, we've got uh, drive zero unknown, that's my uh, solid state hard drive, that's got the operating system installed on it. Uh, disk uh, one here, the E drive, that's my storage drive and here we have disk F which is the device we're going to be recovering data from. So just click on it. I say you can ignore all the settings, just click next and it will start scanning the drive. Now obviously at this point the larger the drive the faster, oh, sorry the slower it takes um, the longer it will take to scan the entire drive. Uh, this is only like a 512 megabyte little memory card so it won't take long at all. Obviously you're scanning you know uh, a 3 terabyte hard drive it's going to take a, a quite a long time. Um, again, that depends on how fast your computer is and that sort of thing, how much memory it's got, but just expect it to take a bit longer, the larger the size of the um, drive. I chose this one because it wouldn't take too long, so we can sort of watch it in real time. Um, so you've got uh, the little green dots, they're the file system structures, they won't move. Um, what you really want what's interesting are all these little blue dots, they're data fragments so uh, when you delete something it leaves little bits of itself behind uh, on the on the storage medium that's done there um, and it's those little bits that programs like uh, Zaha here are picking up and they're basically stitching them back together um, another interesting fact about data deletion um, if you're thinking of something like um, a mobile phone. And the reason I've said that if you really want to destroy your data you should smash the device up. Um, if I click the format option on my mobile phone, and most mobile phones come with that option to uh, reset them to factory defaults and that deletes all the data off. Nine times out of ten it doesn't actually delete any data. Uh, what it does is instead there is uh, a file, a table if you will, that tells uh, the operating system on the device where all the files on it are. So it's kind of like um, an index in the back of a book. And it tells you where you can find everything on that drive. And a lot of times when you go to format a hard drive or reset it to factory default, all it does is delete, delete that file. It deletes that table. So it forgets basically where every bit of data is on the drive. The data still exists. It's still written to that device's memory but the computer or the mobile phone or whatever doesn't know where that data is and that means that data can be written over but it also means that it's really easy for a program such as Zar to find those files because they exist incomplete and they're just there and say if the right software scans that storage device it will find it so if you're selling on a mobile phone or, or other device like that just be aware that there's a good possibility that the data that's on it is still recoverable and if the person who buys or uh, next owns that device had a mind to discover that data, they might be able to. At some point, I'll, um, I'll investigate looking into the um, ways in which you can absolutely delete data 100% and I'll try and come up with a, a YouTube video of free or cheap uh, programs that will delete your data um, more uh, permanently. I will come with that in the future. So uh, Zaha's gone through uh, and found all the files it can find to recover. Uh, you can select the ones you want if you know what they are, or just select all of them, like that. Dead easy. 
click next and you select a file destination where you want these pictures uh, the, yeah, these images uh, or, or the data if you've bought the full version where you want them to go so we'll just select a new slot on our storage device so E and we'll just go straight to E and then you just click start copying those selected files and it'll create a folder called root and it'll move them all into it dead easy. Uh, so I'm sure we've all been there where we've um, deleted something we didn't mean to or had something go faulty. I've recovered uh, data off of several laptop hard drives for friends and people in the past where the, the hard drive or the laptop itself has died. Um, usually with a hard drive if they fail they're still sort of half work. Like unless the actual hardware fails you can usually get data off of them. And similarly, if the rest of the laptops died, if the laptops died for a different reason, then it's dead easy to get hold of the actual uh, data that's still on the hard drive. And it's better you can do this yourself because uh, you can be charged quite a lot of money. So when it closes, there it automatically opens up where you've saved the pictures to. Uh, I'll just pull up a second. So just to confirm to everybody this is the drive that we've scanned and you see it's still empty nothing on it yet it's found all these images yeah so there we go so some old computer pictures that I've uh, taken from my blog can't confess there which was used to dust that <laughs> so there we that proves the, the thing it's uh, found all the images it can find on that drive and that's about all there is to it folks so um, I say if you've uh, lost data particularly uh, images uh, give uh, zero assumption recovery a go uh, see if you can get those images back uh, thanks for watching